70% of the Earth is covered in water, so you can be sure there are plenty of incredible sights to behold. From unearthly sea creatures to geological mysteries of the deep, science is still making new discoveries daily. 15 Incredible Underwater Places Christ of the Abyss Italy. In the Mediterranean Sea, off the coast of San Frutuoso, Italy, lies a giant bronze sculpture. It has stood in this place since 1954 when it was sunk. The giant statue of Christ is a beautiful homage to Dario Gonzatti, a diver who died at the exact spot a few years before. His grieving friend, Giulio Mercanti, commissioned the sculptor, Guido Galetti, to create the eight-foot-tall statue. So why did Dario Gonzatti warrant such a massive token to his memory? Well, he was a hero in scuba diving circles. He was the first Italian to ever use scuba gear, paving the way for it to become a popular sport. Since then, more of the same statues have been sunk around the world. But no matter where you come upon it, swimming up to a giant Jesus with outstretched arms must be quite an experience. Rumu Underwater Prison, Estonia During the 1940s, the Soviet Union built a prison near Rumu, Estonia. The construction of this prison, though, almost seems like a sick joke. The inmates were used in the construction, and they had to carry the stone from a limestone quarry. The prison itself was within the quarry. However, there was a snag. The quarry began to take in water, so it had to be constantly pumped to drain any water building up. In the 1990s, after Estonia's independence, the prison was abandoned, and so were the efforts to drain the quarry. Crystal clear water seeped in and formed a lake, with most of the prison buildings disappearing beneath it. These days, it's a diver's paradise, with plenty to explore in the sunken ruins. It is also popular for water sports like paddleboarding and kayaking. Musa Underwater Museum, Cancun, Mexico When Cancun, Mexico was hit with a succession of hurricanes in the early 2000s, much of the sea life was affected when masses of coral reefs were destroyed. In an effort to rehabilitate the area and to encourage sea life to return, the Cancun Underwater Museum began a project devoted to the art of conservation. But this isn't any glass case, stuffed animal, dust-gathering museum. This museum exists on the ocean floor. It started with just four sculptures being sunk in November 2009. The museum has grown to 500 sculptures spread over three different galleries. They range from 3 to 6 meters or 9.8 feet to 19.6 feet deep. The joy of the project is that it encourages tourism, gives divers something spectacular to experience underwater, and steers people away from the sensitive coral reefs that are slowly rehabilitating. For those not wanting to get wet, you can observe the underwater museum from the comfort of a glass-bottom boat. Mediano, Spain one day in 1969, the bustling town of Mediano in Spain disappeared underwater. You wouldn't know it was even there today, if not for the bell tower of a church in the middle of the lake. The flooding was the unexpected result of the construction of a reservoir that went up in the area. Without warning, the reservoir was opened and the valley began to flood. Residents were forced to quickly abandon the village, leaving their homes to be swallowed by the floodwaters. Dos Hoyos, Tulum, Mexico If you dare to enter the underwater world of Dos Hoyos, translated meaning two eyes, you're in for one of the most amazing cave dives in the world. This never-ending series of caves totals 82 kilometers or 52 miles, and that's only the parts that have been explored. There is still more being discovered. Dos Hoyos has 28 entrances through sinkholes caused when the cave's ceiling had fallen in. It is the longest underwater cave in the world, so certainly worth a visit. Dorsoyos is a popular diving spot, welcoming around 100 tourists a day. Most tourist dives are kept at a comfortable 5 to 7 meters, or between 16 and 23 feet. The visibility is crystal clear, but the caves are dark, so torches are needed. Shipwreck of the Sweepstakes, Lake Huron, Canada Since 1885, Lake Huron, Ontario has been the final resting place for the sweepstakes. The ship lies just 6 meters from the surface and can be seen clearly through the clear water of the lake. Divers are rewarded with the opportunity to explore the wreck just 15 meters from the lake shores. The wreck is part of the Fathom 5 National Marine Park, so it is protected for future generations by a wire fence surrounding the shipwreck. Green Lake, Tregos, Austria Once a year, around May or June, you might be lucky enough to see the beautiful green hills of the Tregos underwater. Usually reserved for hiking, annually the park is submerged underwater when the snow on the Karst Mountain melts and floods the area. The lake, which is usually there, fills up with the melting snow and rises to create a lagoon, covering trees, benches, bridges and the regular hiking paths. After the sites rise in popularity with scuba divers arriving by the busload to explore the park underwater once a year, 
year, the park began to get damaged. Since 2016, the park has enforced strict access to the lake by scuba divers. Now the sensitive environment is protected for generations to enjoy the annual underwater spectacle. Chuk Lagoon, Federated States of Micronesia In 1944, Japan lost 60 warships and 250 planes to the U.S. forces. The final resting place was the lagoon, where they were based at the time. Their watery demise was a huge loss, but in later years, Japan has been able to find a positive spin on it. Now, the over 300 sunk crafts are home to coral and masses of marine life. 266 species of reef fish are now locals, including manta rays, turtles, and sharks. It is a treat for both naval and army enthusiasts and scuba divers who can explore the wreckages surrounded by their new inhabitants. Currently, environmental protection organizations are conducting surveys to determine the amount of fuel within the wrecks. As they rust, they pose a risk of polluting the environment if the oil escapes. USAT Liberty, Bali, Indonesia On the way to restock troops in the 1940s, a supply ship was struck with a Japanese torpedo, becoming stranded and had to be deserted. It remained on the beach until 1963, until a volcano erupted and molten lava tumbled down the mountainside and pushed the abandoned ship out into the shallow water of the ocean. There it remains, the victim of two separate major incidents. Now 13 feet or 4 meters underwater, it is a favorite with snorkelers and scuba divers, who can both act access its shallow depths. Underwater Waterfall, Mauritius Island This majestic illusion is an absolute mind-blowing moment when seen from above in a helicopter or plane. It looks like a waterfall cascading down an underwater crag, but looks are deceiving. It is not a foaming white waterfall you are seeing, but rather a sandfall. The sand is trickling down the drop-off as it erodes off the continental shelf on downward ocean currents. The continental shelf reaches a maximum of 150 meters around the island of Mauritius. The village of Epikian, Buenos Aires. This underwater spot is actually rising again from the Salt Lake floor it has called home since the 80s. The story of the rise and fall and rise again of the village of Epikian started in the 1920s. The growing village was located on the shore of Salt Lake, southwest of Buenos Aires. By the 1970s, it had a population of 5,000 people and growing. The weather began to bring more and more rain and the Salt Lake it bordered started to rise. By 1984, the lake broke through the barriers around it and the village began to disappear below the lake. By 1933, the village had been completely swallowed and sat 10 meters or 33 feet below the lake surface. Since 2009, the weather began to dry up in the area and the rainy season seemed over. And since then, the village has begun to re-emerge in parts of Salt Lake. Silver Fisher, Iceland If you like to travel to the ends of the earth, then try this one on for size. The silver fissure is the gap between two continental plates of Eurasia and North America. How about a dive between continents? The fissure is a narrow gap of rock facade on either side, but broad enough to swim through. It is shallow enough to snorkel or scuba dive if you want to explore deeper. What makes it even more incredible is the perfect clarity of the water. You can see for miles, and there is also a unique ecosystem of multicolored algae. St. Nicholas Church, Mavrovas Lake, Macedonia In the 1850s, when the St. Nicholas Church was built, there was no Mavrova Lake. It was an active church serving the local community. But in 1952, this changed. A hydroelectric plant was built, including a dam and an artificial lake. By 1953, the Mavrova Lake had submerged St. Nicholas Church, with just the bell tower standing out. In 2003, this started to change again. As the climate changed and rainfall decreased, parts of the church were accessible in the summer months. It is a popular spot for the adventurers to explore on summer days. The Turtle Island, China Once a year, the banks of the gorgeous reservoir is wall-to-wall -wall with tourists. They arrive to observe the spectacle of the Turtle Island re-emerging. The gorgeous dam controls the level of the reservoir, and when full, it completely covers Turtle Island. But come springtime, the reservoir is drained, and the turtle appears for three months a year, like a mystical creature. Which of these incredible underwater places would you most like to visit? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Whitley Wonder Underwater Ballroom, England When you own a mansion with 32 rooms and three artificial lakes spread over 9,000 acres of land, it seems fitting to create an underwater ballroom to boot. And that's just what Whitaker Wright did. The most incredible underwater place on our list consists of an underground dome-shaped room that looks up through a glass roof below a lake. It was tastefully appointed with fine finishes worthy of royalty. It can still be visited to this day. 
After the owner died in 1904, under a cloud of scandal, his estate was auctioned off. In 1952, the mansion was destroyed in a fire. You might recognize the underwater ballroom from its feature in the Harry Potter films.